The Nigeria Communications Commission has shut down the communications unit of a commercial bank in Abuja, which is found to be transmitting illegally on an illegal frequency. And the Commission's monitoring and enforcement unit, led by the director, Mr. F. Deng, led a team of NCC officials to Intercontinental Bank PLC in Wuse area of Abuja after it was discovered on the commission's monitor to be operating on the frequency without a license. A two senior f- uh, staff of the bank were arrested and taken to a police station for questioning to find out who gave the bank the illegal frequency. Ms. Aiden said commercial banks are the major patronizers of illegal frequencies and warned that subscribers are not exempted from sanctions in the use of illegal frequencies. Our correspondent, Omelogo Nadi, has more. This is the second enforcement exercise by the Nigeria Communications Commission against companies using illegal frequencies and bandwidths in the federal capital territory. The target of the NCC this time is Intercontinental Bank in the Wuse area of Abuja, found to be carrying out all its internet operations illegally on the 5.4 megahertz frequency, despite several warnings to the bank management. A raid on the bank led to a seal-off of its communication unit and the arrest of two key officials. The gentleman here, Mr. Adidayo, is a support staff, the IT support uh, staff, and um, the the operations manager, Mr. Abdullahi, uh, they are going to help the police in further investigations on the matter of the illegal transmission. We've given public notice. We did one in April. We did one in June. And because we found banks on this frequency, in November we issued another public notice. The enforcement team proceeded to another location, this time an internet-based station site owned by Helios Towers, where four different service providers are co-located. Here, one of the company's IPNX was found to be operating illegally. It was shut down, sealed off, and its operating equipment taken away so that appropriate sanctions would be taken against the company. The monitoring team saw six radios transmitting from this site on that frequency band. And as at now, we've disabled all those radios. We are just waiting for their riggers to come here and pull them down from the towers. They've given us the power source of that radio, but enforcement is not complete until we take the radio, the offending radio, down. And we'll be, we'll be coming to the office so that we can fully calculate their penalties. The NCC enforcement monitoring team vowed that this raid will continue until all illegal users of the licensable frequencies are arrested and prosecuted. NCC also said companies, especially banks and other big institutions, must ensure that their providers are operating via legally licensed frequencies, as no one will be exempted from its sanctions. Omelogo, Nadi Channels, Television News.